I think it's their state of mind that has brought these people to do these de desperate acts. We know that desperate people do desperate things and people that are unstable uh, do illogical things. Behaviour of this sort will not, let me make it very clear, will not uh, produce altered decisions. There can be few more gruesome forms of protest than sewing one's lips together with needle and thread. But for detainees at the Woomera Detention Centre, the very loss of speech itself speaks volumes about their plight. I see it as um, um, a last desperate cry to be heard. The Australian government isn't listening to them um, and doesn't understand as many as 60 detainees, including children as young as eight, stitched their lips together last week to protest against conditions inside and delays in processing their claims for refugee status. The reason for the delay, a federal government freeze on decisions for Afghan asylum claims until the situation in their country is more settled. In relation to those who are from Afghanistan, both the UNHCR and Australia, uh, recognise that um, in the changed circumstances those matters need to be um, reviewed in relation to decisions. Well obviously the situation in Afghanistan at the moment is very complicated and is still uh, undergoing a lot of changes. What that means is that in some circumstances it may not be very possible, uh, very obvious at the moment to determine someone's claim for refugee status. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees has adopted the same procedure as Australia. It too is deferring decisions on Afghan asylum claims. But it warns against a blanket approach and argues each case should be decided on individual merit. There may be people whose uh, claim for persecution is valid despite the changed circumstances in Afghanistan and those cases can still go ahead as normal. There's no doubt in recent weeks the flood of desperate people fleeing Afghanistan has slowed and many are already returning home from refugee camps across the border. But refugee advocates say many asylum seekers will still face danger if they're forced to return to their homeland. People that uh, are sent back may very well be sent to places that no longer exist. Uh, where there's no food, there's no appropriate drinking water, um, uh, where they r really have very little hope of surviving. There's problems with shelter, uh, food distributions, um, providing enough health care, um, treating the malnourished children, both moderately and severely malnourished, in our feeding centres. And we're seeing a lot of uh, mothers walking a long way just to bring their children to the feeding centres. An argument that finds no sympathy with Philip Ruddock. The issue of whether or not a person is a refugee turns on whether or not they have a well-founded fear of persecution. Um, and um, civil disturbance, natural disaster, um, um, even internal civil war, um, the fact that there are risks from mines and, and bombing um, which uh, might incidentally hurt anybody who is there, including the millions of people who live there now, um, doesn't necessarily give rise to a legitimate claim of persecution. The whole point of uh, temporary protection visas are so that um, genuine refugees, genuine asylum seekers can come to this country um, and live in our community for a short period of time. The visas are generally three years so that when the situation changes in their countries, they can return there. For now though, Afghan asylum seekers can look forward to more of the same. A long and indefinite stay in detention with no sign of when their refugee claims might be resolved. Until then, Philip Ruddock is hoping an independent committee to visit Woomera can bring calm inside. But if this plea from Afghan children on their way to the local school is any guide, the turmoil at Woomera is far from over. Well, they have said that um, they would prefer to die than be returned to, to Afghanistan. Um, all I can do is, is, believe, uh, is believe those, th those threats. Um, their actions of sewing their lips together certainly makes me think that they are very, very desperate.